Election day in the US is finally here and gold is holding steady, hovering near record highs. In this video, I'm going to share five tips for trading gold on election day. This year, demand for gold has been driven by a mix of geopolitical tensions in the Middle East, safe haven buying, reserve diversification, and US interest rate cuts. For many traders, the trend in gold has been clear and rewarding. But when it comes to the US election, things can get complicated. The good news is that with the right strategy, you can handle the chaos with confidence. Number one, take smaller positions to manage volatility. Volatility is the name of the game during election season. Sudden sharp price swings can easily trigger drawdown limits, especially for prop traders. The best move, trade smaller positions. This approach gives you more room to adapt if the market turns unexpectedly. Think of it as giving yourself a safety net to weather any storm. Number two, be quick to take profits and stay consistent. Election day can bring rapid shifts in market sentiment as states report their results. To stay ahead, focus on taking quick, small profits. Don't wait for those massive gains. Secure what you can and move on. This strategy also helps you lock in profits and avoid getting caught in sudden reversals. Plus, it keeps you aligned with prop firm consistency rules. Number three, Stay informed and leave your bias behind. Real-time updates are crucial on election day. Follow trusted financial news resources and keep an eye on platforms like Financial Juice or other reliable ex-news accounts for immediate election-related updates. Here's a key tip. Set aside your political opinions. Your job is to respond to market signals, not personal beliefs. Watch Pennsylvania closely. If Trump wins North Carolina, tension will shift to Pennsylvania, which might be the deciding state like it was in 2020. Remember, Pennsylvania won't start counting mail-in ballots until Election Day, so the results might not come until early Wednesday evening or Wednesday during the day, impacting late Asia trade. Number four, know the key election timing. Timing is everything in trading. Exit poll embargoes are lifted at 5 p.m., and swing states, especially Pennsylvania, are crucial. Pennsylvania polls close at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. In 2016, the Associated Press um, called Pennsylvania around 1, uh, 8.35 a.m. So you can expect exaggerated moves during the Asia session. And Asia session in particular will be very volatile as those poll results come in. In the past, it seems that somewhere between 11 p.m. and uh, 11.30 p.m. more likely and 2 a.m. is when the election results um, are called. And, you know, it's, you know, basically called who is the winner, but there could be delays. And this time around, the delay could even be more significant if the polls are very tight. Number five, set price alerts to stay prepared. Want to stay on top of big price moves without being glued to your screen? Make sure you set price alerts on your trading platform. With sharp swings likely, alerts can help you react quickly to major support and resistance movements. For gold traders, this can be a real game changer when the market starts moving fast. Now, prop firm trading restrictions on election day is important. Some firms, like um, there's some prop firms, have actually suspended new challenges on around the election period, especially on election day, while others have implemented news trading restrictions. Now, you have firms like Think Capital, for example, a broker power prop firm that actually allows trading through the election without news restrictions. And we have more information on their rules in the description of this video. But even so, the question remains, do you, should you and do you really want to be trading during this period? Spreads are likely to widen and market swings can be significant. The best approach might be just to wait for the dust to settle and for election results to become clear as the final market reaction often has lasting momentum for days and even weeks. Now, Trump versus Harris, who's better for gold? No matter who wins, the factors driving gold strength are expected to remain relevant. But here's a scoop. A Trump win could mean more short-term upside for gold. His policies often focus on tariffs and protectionism, increasing trade tensions and pushing inflation higher, boosting gold's appeal as a safe haven. On the other hand, a Harris presidency would likely bring more stability and continuity with lower inflationary pressures and steadier growth, which could reduce gold's demand as a hedge. Polls are tight, adding to the uncertainty. So whatever the outcome, gold traders should be ready for significant price movements. The key is to stay nimble, well-informed, and prepared for anything. Trading on gold on your election day is all about being smart, taking smaller positions, securing your profits quickly, stay informed, use price alerts, and know when key updates are expected. Stay flexible and be ready to adjust as the results come in. Good luck on election day. I will try to keep you all updated. This is Kathy Lee with BK Traders. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates on how to trade the election after the results are out.